everyone. In this session, I will be demonstrating Ohm's law with the help of virtual laboratory. Before explaining the demonstration, I will be briefing up what do we mean by Ohm's law. Let us study the theory behind Ohm's law. Ohm's law states that current passing through the conductor is directly proportional to the potential difference across the ends of conductor provided the physical conditions such as temperature of the conductors remain same. So this is the definition of Ohm's law. That means if mathematically we can write the potential difference between two ends of the conductor that is directly proportional to current flowing through the conductor. That means voltage and current both are directly proportional. Or else we can write to remove the proportionality constant we can write voltage is equal to constant into I. This constant is known as R that is actually the resistance of the conductor that is expressed in terms of O where the voltage is expressed in terms of volt and current is expressed in terms of ampere. By considering these three quantities like voltage, current and resistance, we can frame one triangle that is known as Ohm's triangle. Now how to take the ratio from the Ohm's triangle? Now let us see this direction V and I, you can see V and I. So we can take V by I. V by I is equal to R. In the same manner, look at in this manner V by R. V by R. You can observe the point V by R that is equal to I. In the same fashion, I can write V. Voltage is equal to product of current and resistance I into R. So this is the triangle which will be really helpful to frame the equations. So this is the basic idea about Ohm's law. Ohm's law will be applicable only on linear resistors or linear circuits. It is not applicable for the non-linear elements. So Ohm's law can be applied only on the linear resistors or linear conductor or linear elements. Now let's see how to conduct the experiment. What are the procedures for conducting the experiment? So you have to rig up the circuit in virtual lab. There is a facility to connect the circuit in virtual lab that you have to do according to the procedure. First and foremost thing you have to rig up the circuit as, as shown in the diagram. Here voltmeter will be always connected parallel to the particular element. It will be connected always parallel to the circuit. Similarly ammeter, you can observe the ammeter that will be always connected in series. Ammeter will be always connected in series. Both the voltmeter and ammeter both are moving coil type instrument. Moving coil means it's applicable only for DC measurement. Why? Because this is a DC circuit. So to measure the DC quantity you have to use moving coil type instruments. Thereafter you have to frame one table in serial number, first column serial number, second column you can write voltage, the third column you can write current in milliampere. Now you are supposed to finalize the value of resistance. Let it be constant value. Resistance value you are supposed to take 10 kilo ohm or 5 kilo ohm, anything you can take. But uh, what I am going to do is I will be taking the value of resistance equal to 10 kilo ohm. I will be keeping the value of resistance, it is a constant value. Okay, now I will be explaining the procedure. So first and foremost thing, do the connection as per the given diagram. So circuit diagram has been provided with you. You have to rig up the circuit in virtual lab as per the same as, as per the same manner. Okay, there is a facility to arrange the connections. Wires can be placed over there. That I will be showing you. Now what you can do is fix the value of resistance. That's the second procedure. You need to fix the value of resistance. Either 5 kilo ohm or 10 kilo ohm or 15 kilo ohm. Now I'll be taking. I'll be taking R is equal to 10 kilo ohm. Thereafter, you are varying the regulated power supply. This is known as RPS, regulated power supply. You are going to vary the DC supply, starting from 0 and ending to 30 volt. I can vary 0 to 30 smoothly. Okay, you can tell the scale is equal to 1 volt or 2 volt, it depends. Now, whenever I am varying the voltage, supply voltage, I need to measure the voltage across the resistance and current through the resistance. For each cases, I need to mark the voltage and current. Whenever I am varying the supply, for every instant, I need to mark the value of voltage and current over here. Then tabulate. Once the tabulation is completed, you can plot the graph between voltage and current. Voltage versus current. Voltage should be plotted in y-axis and current should be plotted in x-axis. Then I, I am expecting, I am expecting to get a straight line graph. Graph should be straight line like this. So that is the target. Now you can directly move on virtual lab of IAT Karakpur and you can perform the experiment that I am going to show you right now. Now let us start the demonstration of Ohm's law by using virtual lab. First and foremost thing you have to choose your browser. So I will be clicking on the Google.
Now what you can do is please type virtual lab IIT Kharagpur. Thereafter, please visit the web portal of IIT Kharagpur with the virtual lab. So you can click on IIT Kharagpur virtual lab. I will be clicking IIT Kharagpur virtual lab. Now what you can do is you can observe different types of laboratory which they are going to provide for you. Technology CAT laboratory, virtual laboratory on multi-phase flow, virtual lab on mine ventilation, virtual laboratory for simulation and gaming, mechanisms and robotic lab. Please go down. Okay, whichever required you can select. So actually you need to select basic electronics lab. Please click on the option basic electronics lab. Immediately after clicking on the basic electronics lab, then you will be getting one of the web portal like welcome to basic electronics virtual laboratory. Here you need to choose uh, introduction is available, then virtual labs for teachers, virtual lab for students, all the instructions are available. So what you can do is you just find out the list of experiment. So do click on list of experiment. Okay. As soon as I click on list of experiment, I will be getting almost 15 number of experiments are available. There are 15 number of experiments available here. From this I need to choose Ohm's law. Please do click on the fourth experiment Ohm's law which is required right now. So please click Ohm's law. Now immediately after that you will be getting some information about Ohm's law. The theory, the theory behind Ohm's law. Initially objective, why we are conducting the experiment? What is the need for the experiment? Later explanation of Ohm's law. I just already done about Ohm's law. What do you mean by Ohm's law? X state and explain Ohm's law. What are the relation between voltage, current and resistance? Those things they have explained very clearly. Even I to explain in the beginning. Okay. Then explanation of Ohm's law. The circuit diagram. Okay. These things they have given. Now based on the circuit we can proceed how to conduct the Ohm's law. So look at the circuit once. Same thing based on the circuit diagram. You can construct the circuit diagram in the simulation and in the simulator and you can make out Ohm's law. Now let us go back to the next option. Now go to simulation option. There is one option that is known as simulation. Please do click on the option simulation. I will be clicking on the simulation. Whenever I click on simulation, I will be having different options. Ohm's law, Ohm's law draw circuit, Ohm's law for resistance in series, Ohm's law for resistance in series, draw circuit. Many options are available. Now I will be showing the basic demonstration. So I need to click on the second option. Ohm's law draw circuit. This option will be convenient for me because I will be starting uh, regarding Ohm's law. I need to demonstrate to you what do you mean by Ohm's law so that second option is convenient for me. Better go for second option. Now one web page will be appeared over here. One simula the, simula the background of simulation has been appeared over here. First you read the instruction carefully. There are a lot of instructions. How about the connections? What are the basic procedures? All the things you need to read out very carefully. Please read out the instruction carefully. Uh, there are 12 instructions. They have given very clearly. Please read out very clearly. Okay. Let us move on the experiment. I will be, pro be proceeding. You please follow up me. The first procedure is I need to do the connections. I have to perform the connections regarding Ohm's law. So first I need to build the circuit. This is a battery, then resistance, uh, then we have a meter, then we have voltmeter. You know ammeter will be always connected series to the circuit and voltmeter will be always connected parallel to the circuit. That concept you know. Now let us start the connections. We will be starting from the positive side of the battery. Then I can start the connection from 1 to 3. Okay. Then uh, next point of the resistance should be connected to next point of ammeter, positive point of the ammeter. Then negative end of the ammeter should be directly connected back to negative of the supply. This path has been completed. Thereafter, I need to connect the voltmeter. Voltmeter should be always connected parallel to the circuit. Here also I have to connect. That means parallel connection. You can observe the parallel connection. Okay. Now the ground is remaining over here. That has to be connected to negative end of the battery. So the connection has been completed. So we have done the connection perfectly. Now we have to check whether the connection is correct or not. So how to check the connections? You can, one option is available here. Please do click on check the connections. I would like to click on check connections. Yes, one message has been popped up. That is right connection. Set resistance and input voltage. Now you can go for the next procedure. Okay, your connection is connection time being. Then you can go for uh, next step. So please click on OK. Now what you can do is, you fix the value of resistance first. So 10k, you can select the value of resistance equal to 10k. So please click on here. Okay, immediately 
afterwards you can directly move on control panel this is a control panel now set the value of resistance there is a slider available here you can increase the value of slider so very slowly you can increase drag and increase the value of slider now set the value of resistance equal to 10k so r is equal to 10k 10 kilo ohm unit is ohm so we will be calling 10 kilo ohm it is in kilo kilo range so unit is 10 kilo ohm resistance value has been set over there now what is the next procedure you have to vary the voltage main supply voltage rps or battery the supply voltage has to be varied vdc has to be varied now how to vary the supply voltage you can take the variation very slowly you can vary step by step you can vary so please click on here now you can go to control this is a control panel now you can vary the voltage supply voltage can be varied so step step by step you can vary okay so first i will be taking vdc is equal to 1 now you can note down the value of voltage as well as current voltmeter as well as ammeter ammeter value how much it is 0 0.100 milliampere voltmeter is equal to 1 volt now you can add one table same value you can put in table you can draw the table table comprises of series serial number voltage and current current in milliampere so add in table so same thing has been appeared in the table now what you can do you can increase the value of supply voltage supply voltage has to be increased now i'll be increasing yes what is the next value whenever i applied voltage is equal to 2 i'll be getting voltmeter reading is equal to 2 volt and uh, ammeter reading is equal to point 0 0.200 that means 0 0.2 milliampere you can add into the table now i need to increase the supply voltage again yes you can add into the table again i would like to increase please add into the table this process will be repeated till 30 volt you can add up to 30 volt continuously i'll be vary uniformly or non-uniformly it's up to the user so continuously you can keep on adding yes the process will be continuing so i can vary up to 30 volt so you can look at the table yes So I could vary the voltage starting from 1 and it can be varied up to 30, 30 volt, I have played till 30. So reading has been obtained. Now what you can do, you can plot the curve, you can plot the VA curve. Now for that purpose, you can click on plot option, one option is available, please click on this plot. Soon after I click on plot, I will be getting the straight line. So these are the straight line graph, that means voltage versus current the graph is completely straight it's a linear graph if you take the slope if you take slope between any point i'll be getting the value of resistance that means y axis by x axis so this is actually the curve and we have verified ohm's law very clearly i hope you understood the concept of ohm's law thank you for watching this video